Hey everyone, uh, putting together this video to show you guys how to play some Extreme G2 on modern PCs. Um, it's actually kind of cryptic how to set up and make it not look like complete ass, so hopefully this video will rectify that situation. So let's get started. First you need to acquire the game files. Um, you can do that through ISO, you know, get an image of the CD or get the CD itself. I have the CD, so that's what I'm going to be working with. Um, but I guess briefly, if if we assume that you don't have a CD and you have an image, then how you would load that is using a program called Daemon Tools. Just Lite. Google it. It's um, free. I know it says buy right here. I don't know why, but you can just download it and use it for free. So Daemon Tools Lite. Um, let's fire that up real quick. Oops. Okay. So here's the interface. Um, here you would right click and say add a Daemon Tools and virtual drive. Just do that real quick. By real quick, I mean after a few seconds of loading. Loading, loading. So great. So we added a virtual device, um, virtual CD drive under F. And then here you would right click it and say mount. And then you would point to an image file. Uh, that can be an ISO, a QBIN, whatever. But you just, this is how you would mount that image. Now once you've done that, um, under computer, you will see a drive. Um, in this case, I did not load an ISO because, as you can see, I already have a drive, physical drive E, and I have the CD in there, so that's what I'm going to be using. So, once you've got this up and running and you have a drive that has the CD in it, then you'd open that and you'd run setup. So, run setup, um, I don't think you have to run as admin. But just just run it, and you can install the game files wherever. Uh, it'll take you through this old retro like 90s install shield shit that makes me feel old because I recognize it. And you can install those files wherever. So I have them installed here, uh, just program files, acclaim, extreme G2. And you will get most of these files. Um, but the first thing that you want to do is create a shortcut to the main game executable, which is xg2pc.exe. So create a shortcut to that, and under target, add the following parameters, dash W1280, dash H1024. That will run the game at 1280 by 1024 resolution. And I think that the default resolution of this game, it's either 800 by 600 or 640 by 480. And this is better, so do this. Uh, once you've created this shortcut, you're going to need to download a glide wrapper to make the game not look like complete fucking crap. It'll just look semi-crap. No, not really. It's a, it's a beautiful game. So, what that glide wrapper is, is DG Voodoo 2. So, DG Voodoo 2, it's free, it's been maintained for a few years, it's really fucking good. Uh, download the very latest, uh, okay. Download the very latest version of that. Apparently it's 2.45 at the time of making this video. So do that and inside the archive that you download there will be these files. A few readmes and you should read those or else the readme gods will strike you down. And under 3D effects, um, 3D effects aka like they made glide. So copy over the three glide DLLs into the same directory as the executable. So that's where these came from, glide, glide 2, glide 3. So copy those over, over setup then run D uh, this is a setup program, not surprisingly, that lets you configure various options about the glide wrapper. Uh, I don't think you need to touch anything under general, um, but you can. This is important though. So under glide, um, you want to max out all of the performance related um, settings. So, example, uh, onboard RAM, make that 16 megs. Uh, memory size per texture mapping unit, max it out at 64k. Uh, number of TMUs, 3. Uh, Anti-aliasing, you probably want 8 unless you're running, you know, unless you're running, dude, you're getting a Dell and you can't handle 8x MSAA. Um, so, yeah, do that. You can play also with these options, you know, I have not yet really done that. But anyway, yeah, just basically set up your settings like this and then hit OK to finalize those. And finally, you should just be able to double click uh, this, uh, the shortcut, and you'll be up and running. Um, I think there's one caveat that I forgot to mention. If you want CD music, and you do because the game has a gorgeous soundtrack, um, make sure that your drive that has the CD in it is letter E. Um, 
that's because the game will automatically look at E for the CD music. It's hard coded or something. So, yeah, that's how you get it up and running. Um, give it a shot. If there are any questions or comments, feel free to drop them in the uh, comments section below. Uh, I hope that this is helpful. So, yeah, have fun. Happy racing.